Right, I'm going to give this a try in the dark room just so we get the best effect from the lights. And get my finger in there to switch it on. I can't. Now, I could always use the remote. <laughs> Help if I turned it the right way up. Okay, well, it didn't fly. Is it supposed to fly? Well, it's fully charged, but it doesn't seem to be doing very much. It does lift out my hand just about. Maybe I better go and read the instructions. Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Picked us up yesterday. We went to Thornbury. That would have been. Tuesday the 30th of January. Um, Thornbury's a good drive from here, but there's about eight charity shops there. And there's the recycling centre. And I get more interesting stuff from the recycling centre than I do from the charity shops, which is in a separate video. This is the only thing I picked up in the charity shop. Complete, 99 pence. Well, obviously 99 pence is what caught my eye. I did give it a try last night in the dark so we get the benefit of the, the light show on it. But I couldn't get it to do much. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's supposed to fly. You throw it and it sort of, if you throw it at a slight angle, it goes around and comes back to you. Couldn't get it to do that. I'll put the instructions um, later on in the video so you can read them. Yeah. Boomerang. Throw it at a 30 degree angle. It will loop and return to you. Well, couldn't get it to do that. Low altitude flying. When it's turned on and the jitter drone is thrown horizontally, it will float forward and slowly lose altitude. Well, every time I tried it, didn't matter what I did, it just lost altitude. <laughs> uh, dive play. Throw it at a 30 degree angle downwards. And it will fly in a downward angle. Yeah, okay. If you throw it out on a flat surface, it will... It looks like a rotating whirlwind. Yeah, it does do that. It spins round. When the jitter drone flies parallel, it will not return back automatically. So if you throw it flat, it will keep going straight. Important hint, your index finger and thumb must grasp the top and bottom of the jitter drone. To not stop its rotation. To not stop its rotation. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll turn it on so you can see what it does. This way's up. That's the bottom. 
Oh, we've got to turn it on first anyway. There's a little button in there. Can we get to it? There we go. Right, it's on. It's off. Okay, so you're supposed to hold it like this somehow. And then release it. Well, I'll... I'll give it a try in here. It'll, it is a soft plastic, so it does bounce off things okay. But like I said, I can't get it to do a boomerang return or anything. I mean, it may just mean we need more space so it can work better. Um, right, I will try throwing it up at a slight angle. It should come round and come back to me. <laughs> well, it did come back to me on the floor. That way up. <laughs> I have got the wireless microphone on so you can still hear me talking in case you're wondering. Okay, we'll try horizontal then. So it should just carry on. Yeah. I don't think it's quite doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it is spinning round. <laughs> but it ain't flying. That'll do. Right, if you can hear it, the engine note is slowing down now. So the battery's running down. And we do have the remote. I have some very similar flying saucer type things. Uh, the what? They're the sort of things that they've got a sensor underneath, so it rises up and down if you put your hand underneath it and they work quite well but this i would say disappointing it might have been good when it was new but it certainly doesn't do very much for me now on the positive side we've got a little lipo motor in uh, sorry little lipo battery in there and a small electric motor and a propeller so we can probably do something with it it only cost me 99 pence but as far as the original um the way it should have worked originally i don't think it can do it anymore but i can't can't speak for what it might have been like brand new this is obviously second hand and somebody's Decided to donate it to a charity shop. Quick close-up of the box. So the most tricked out flying spinner. 
You don't need a ton of space to unleash the fun of the Fly, Fly Nova Pro. Easy to control so you can enjoy yourself worry-free anywhere, from the living room to a public park. And the boomerang effect ensures the Fly Nova Pro only has one flight path after you launch it, right back to your hand. Yeah, okay. Uh, Fly Nova Pro is great for the office too. Use it to de-stress with your colleagues in the break room. Or for adding a little fun to your team building sessions. It is so easy. Even your boss could learn. Seriously though, let her try. Yeah, okay. So it should be able to go horizontally between a bunch of rings. Couldn't get it to do that. Looks like you can knock down cups with it at a distance. Couldn't do that. Looks like you can all get dressed in your athletic gear and have amazing competitions with it. And obviously you all become young and fit. Well, that didn't work for me. And, uh, yeah, you throw it and it comes back. I mean, it does follow that flight path. I throw it like that and it disappears off to the right somewhere. Ends up chasing it around on the floor. Dynamic RGB lights with three dazzling colored lights. Your Flynova Pro will look like a neon shooting star when you launch it across the sky. What a skiv. If you really want to get some attention, practice your tricks at night when your Flynova Pro can light up the dark. Wonderful stuff. I mean, to be honest, I'm not giving it a fair test because it's second hand. So we don't know what it was like when it was brand new. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.